In this video, we're going to see how to add a book to the database table. So typically what will happen is that the user will type in a title and edition for the book and then the user will select an author uh, from the uh, combo box, click on the insert button and that book will be inserted into the database and it will instantly appear uh, in the table on the right. Okay, let's start off uh, with that. So we double click on the insert button because we're going to add functionality to it. All right, delete the comment. And now we're going to bring in an entity manager factory as well as a books controller. So there's the entity manager factory. Prior to this, I was uh, I just kept on retyping everything. And that was to give you a sense of what, what it is, you know, how to give you the practice of how to do it. But I think now I, uh, we, I'm feeling a bit confident so we'll just copy and paste. Right. There we go. So Entity Manager Factory EMF, and we're using the, the persistence unit to get an EMF and Entity Manager Factory, and then we're creating a books controller with that. Now the controller is going to be used to save that book to the database. But before we can save a book, we need to create a book. So we instantiate a new book. and we populate the book. We set its title and the title of the book will come from the uh, title uh, combo, um, JTEX field dot get text. It's very easy to uh, miss out this method. So a lot of people miss out the get text method, get an error and not know why they are having an error. So don't forget to put in the get text method. NetBeans does have a, a habit of uh, freezing at times. Set edition, book edition dot again, get text. All right. So now a book has a title and edition and it also has one other thing and that is an author. All right. So we're going to get the author from the combo box. How do we get the author from the combo box? Firstly, we need to create an author. Right. And we're going to call the combo box. So we called it CB. you forget the name of your combo box you can always see it like I did you can always uh, look into the navigator and there we have it CB book author so it's CB book author dot get selected item all right so we're going to call the get selected item uh, method of the CB book author now notice the return type of this method. The return type is object. That means it's going to send back an object. It's going to send back an object, not an author. So now we're going to have an issue with that. But first, let's select that and we'll sort the issue out afterwards. All right, very good. So I put in my semicolon. It's a complete line, but I'm getting the red underline because there is an error. How do I know what the error is? Simply hover, hover above the line and you'll see the error. It says incompatible types object cannot be converted to authors. In other words, what we're getting back through this method call is an object. But we are trying to save that object. We're trying to store it as an author. So this is not working. But the good part is we know that in Java, everything is an object. An author is a subclass of object. So we can downcast this object to author. All right, so we downcasted it and we see that the error is gone and everything is, is correct. Now to set the book's author. Set author. NetBeans is clever enough to know that uh, the author we just created in line 461 is the author that we're going to set as the author for this book. All right, very good. So we've created a book. Now we can save the book. So to save it, we're going to use the book controller.
right? So we call it create method. And again, NetBeans is clever enough to know that the book that we just created is the book that is going to be created. All right, so these lines up till here will insert the book that we've just created uh, into the database. But there's two things left to, to do. Number one, when we look at our form again, after the user has populated uh, the field and has inserted uh, the book, clicked on insert and inserted the books, two things need to happen. Firstly, all the fields need to be blanked. And secondly, the, the book needs to appear in the J table. Now for the first part, to blank out the fields, we need to create a, a method to create to blank out all the text fields. Now that will be simple to do. Let's scroll up a bit and look for the uh, the clear method for author. There we go, clear author text fields. Just to refresh how we did that, simply we call the set text of each of the t uh, text fields and set its text to a blank uh, string. We can set this uh, the scope of this method to private because it's only going to be ever used internally. The return type is void because this method doesn't actually send back any information and we'll call it clear book text fields and what are the text fields we got jtf book title dot set text and set it to null strings and jtf book edition dot set text set that also to a blank uh, a blank string okay so now we simply have to call this function this method rather all right so we're back at uh, btn book insert action performed first thing to do clear book text fields second we need to bind the books table now this will ensure that every time a new uh, uh, book is added into the database the table is refreshed so we see the book appear in instantly in the table on on our front end all right let's test this out taking an awful long time this uh, this time around okay there we go so we go to the books tab and let's uh, add a book bleak house by charles dickens now you may be wondering where did all these authors and books that we have here where did they come from now it's important to remember at this stage that there's two apps that we created. If you've done the first tutorial, you would have noticed that we created uh, an app there and we created a, a database and we populated that database with some information, with some uh, uh, fields. Now, this app that we are creating is actually using the exact same uh, database. This is one of the most powerful aspects of database in that you have a single database that can be accessed by multiple applications. All right, so this is another application using the same database. So a lot of these uh, fields, a lot of the, this uh, information actually came from the first application. So we've got Bleak House, Edition 1, Charles Dickens. Now we click on Insert, and there we have it. The book is inserted, it's shown on our table, and the fields have been blanked. All right, now there's one question that arises. How do you add an author? Let's say you encounter a book, you go through the author's list, and suddenly you, do, you realize that the author is not there. There is no author, uh, you know, uh, or, or that particular author for that book hasn't been uh, created as yet. So you simply go to the author's tab and you create the author. But there's a small little issue that I want to point out to you at this stage. So let's uh, make another author.
let's create this time author Stephen King we leave out the email email is not mandatory and we click on insert and we see instantly the author Stephen King has been inserted into our table but when we go to the books tab we'll find that there's a slight little issue here Stephen King hasn't been inserted into our J combo box now why is this the case the reason is simple it's just as with our J tables every time we add a new item into the database we need to refresh the tables and the combo box now we find that the, the tables every time we inserting a new author into the table the table is being refreshed every time we insert a new book into the table is being refreshed but not so the combo box so now we need to call the refresh uh, method the bind method that we created for this combo box every time a new author is inserted so we're going to add that in now so we close the app we're going to design view click on the author tab this is the quickest and easiest way to find any method just find it through the front end all right in the author tab we click or we double click on the insert button and that brings us to the insert functionality the insert author functionality so we want it that every time an author is inserted into the table uh, this uh, the combo box is uh, refreshed now if you recall in one of the previous uh, videos we actually created the method to bind the data from the database to the combo box so we call it we call simply call that uh, method which is bind cb box author and there we have it that's all we need to do now you'll understand why we didn't use NetBeans own uh, inherent capabilities to populate uh, the combo box or the tables we didn't like simply right click and uh, you know click on on bind we decided to go about it the manual way and that is so that we have control to do all of this let's run the application alright so we have our authors we have our books you can see each of the authors is is listed let's add a new uh, a new author right we don't need to put in uh, an email address click on insert now this time when we go into the uh, the books tab and we call up the drop down list we find that the new author has been added into the table 